In this video, I want to explain the real meaning or the real understanding of division. Uh, at times, we know how to divide, but uh, we don't, underst we don't uh, really understand what division means. So my intention is not to show you the division. You, you might be knowing that 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so we know that. Answer. Uh, so if someone asks you how, what is 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So you may say, well, how can you explain? So you say 2 times 3 is 6. That's perfectly right. So, but why, how can you explain that if suppose uh, you have someone, so your sibling or who is say 4 years old and you want to explain division, okay, and they don't know any of the times table. So this is, I'll try to explain in a diagram. So 6 divided by 2. So you've got 6 circles. When, when you're saying you're dividing by 2, you're asking the question, there are how many lots of 2's here? You're dividing 6 by 2 means you are making lots of 2. So let us make, so this is one lot of 2. This is a second lot of 2. And this is a third lot of 2. So 6 divided by 2 means when 6 is divided in lots of 2, there are how many lots of 2? So this is the first lot of 2, this is the second lot of 2, and this is the third lot of 2. So the answer is 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now think what will you do here? 6 divided by 3 means you're asking the question, there are how many lots of 3 here? If this is divided in lots of 3's, how many lots are there? So you have to make a lot of 3. So this is one lot of 3, and this is the second lot of 3. So 6 divided by 3 means you're making lots of 3's. So when 6 is divided by 3, you've got two lots of 3's. That's what you do. 3 times 2, or there are 3 lots of 2 gives you 6. And that's perfectly right. So 3 times 2 is 6 means 3 lots of 2 gives you 6. Okay. And here you can check your answer by saying 2 lots of 3 gives you 6. Okay, now this is easy. So let us make it a bit challenging now. Here the question is 6 divided by half. Okay, so this is where students find uh, things getting difficult. So here the question is, when you're dividing 6 by half, the question is, so let me write the English. So here, if you if you want to write this in words, so they're asking you how many lots, okay, or 6 has, if you want to phrase this in words, you're asking the question, there are how many lots, or so there are how, there are how many halves, how many halves, halves in 6? That's the question. 6 divided by half, this is the question. There are how many halves in 6? Okay, so what I've done is these are 6 pies or 6 beads, whatever. I have divided them in half. So this is 1 half, 2 half, 3 half, 4 half. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 6 divided by half, if you don't want to do the math, so the question is, the answer is 12. Okay, so when you divide 6 in halves, there are 12 halves. But you also need to know the maths. So how do you do the maths? The maths is like this, I'll do the maths here. So 6 divided by half is 6 over 1 times... 2 over 1. So but this division can change to multiplication. Now if you change the division to multiplication, the number that comes after the division sign swaps over. That means 1 half, 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. And this is nothing but when you're multiplying fractions, you multiply the top numbers and multiply the bottom numbers or numerators and denominators. So this is 6 times 2 over 1 times 1, which is 12 over 1, which is 12. Now, this is the maths. Here, you don't understand how is 6 divided by half is 12. 
this is the diagrammatic way. So one hole has two halves. So six holes has have how many halves? There are 12 halves. Okay, let me do one more question. Six divided by quarter. So now if you want to phrase this in words, they're asking you, there are how many, there are how many three quarters. So let me write like this. Let, how many three quarters in six? There are how many three quarters in six? So this is six beads or six pies. The question is there are how many three quarters? So this is, let me take one quarter out from each of the pie. So how many three quarters are there? So this is one three quarter. This is the second three quarter. This is the third three quarter. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Now can we make three quarters from these quarters? So yes, so this is one. So let me swap it around. Uh, yeah, so this is so this is, so I'm not wasting time here. I hope you can see it. Okay. So this is, or it should have gone the other way around. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, it should have gone like this. Okay. So this is the seventh. This is the seventh. And this is the eighth. Okay, so this is, so let me finish the word. So this is this is the eight. Okay, so let me bring this and turn it around. Hopefully I can, I hope you can see. So there are so this is one three quarters, the second three quarter, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So there are eight three quarters in. So here without doing the maths, you can write the answer is eight. But now, every time you can't draw these figures, so you need to know the maths. So this is 6 over 1 times 4 over 3. Okay, so what you're doing is, you flip this number over. When you want to change this division, so this division changes to multiplication. Now this 6 is nothing but 6 over 1. Okay, and this 3 quarter, this 3 quarter changes to four thirds. Then what you do is you multiply the top number that is six times four over one times three which is six times four is twenty four divided by three. That is nothing but twenty four divided by three so that is eight. I hope that you understand. So that's how you get the answer.